All right, hey, what's up guys? Coach Nate here from Chicago Ninja Academy. So this is uh, my first video in a series that I'm, I'm doing, kind of a challenge to myself as well as a way to kind of put more content, tips and tricks out there. So this is day one of the next 100 days of ninja tips and tricks and uh, techniques to help you train harder, do better, and get stronger. So the first one today is about pull-ups. All right, pull-ups are a huge component of being able to do any of the upper body obstacles on Ninja Warrior. All right, it's kind of a prereq. If you can't pull your chin up over a bar, there's no way you're gonna be able to go up the salmon ladder, do the cliffhanger, stuff like that. Um, so what I'm gonna talk about is what is, what is the difference between a good pull-up and a bad pull-up. So the, the easiest way to put this is that good pull-ups lead with the chest. So what I mean by that is a lot of times when people are hanging from the bar, they kind of just hang straight down and then they pull up. And as a result, when you're pulling up straight up and down like that, you're using way too much bicep and forearm and not enough back, not enough of your lats, okay? So, easiest way to put that is when I set myself up on the bar, I'm gonna lift my chest up just a little bit, all right? And I'm pulling my elbows back like that and trying to bring my chest closer to the bar versus hanging straight down with my shoulders all the way up in my ears like the old man that's been trapped in a dungeon for the last 80 years, all right? I'm gonna bleed with my chest Pull up like that. So I'll do a couple more with a little bit of a side view so you can see the difference between the two. All right, so bad pull up, hanging straight down, using nothing but arms. All right, then I have to sneak my chin up over there versus adjusting, getting my chest up, engaging my lats, pulling it back and down like that. So go out there, crank out some pull ups, and I'll see you on the next video tomorrow.